Hi everyone, meteorologist Taylor Knust here with your forecast. Uh, we do have some active weather to talk about for the next 24 hours or so. Another clipper system, the third in a series of clippers we've seen since the beginning of this weekend, will pass through Minnesota and then northeast Iowa tonight through Monday morning. Strong cold front will then roll through during the day on Monday, and that's going to usher in another blast of Arctic air into Iowa late on Monday into Monday night. Let's talk about the snow prospects with this system. First of all, it's going to be similar to the last couple rounds, very light in nature, so not much accumulation, but we'll have chances for snow in northern and eastern Iowa tonight. That threat probably done just after sunrise on Monday. If you're in the southwest half of the state, good chance you'll stay snow free, and I think that will include Des Moines as well. But northern eastern Iowa, yeah, you have a shot at at least a little bit of snowfall on Sunday night here, up to two inches possible in the northeast corner of the state. We're probably just looking at another dusting chance for Fort Dodge, maybe Ames, Marshalltown, Grinnell, and perhaps as far south as Ottumwa. But again, Des Moines' chances of this snow pretty slim. Let's talk temperatures. It's going to be bizarre. We started Sunday. Sunday uh, at midnight uh, with the temperature around 40 degrees. That temperature then fell to the single digits just after sunrise on Sunday morning. Those temperatures are going to rise back up again on Sunday night, all the way up to the low 30s in Des Moines, Creston, and Lamoni. So you step outside Monday morning, it's not going to feel too bad, but don't get cut off because we're going to see that uh, cold front roll through on Monday afternoon, knocking temperatures back down to the teens late Monday afternoon continues to get colder and colder Monday night. We are looking at sub zero lows on Monday night. Just like that, we're back to the deep freeze out there and it's going to feel even worse with the wind chills likely down to the negative 20s on Tuesday morning. We'll likely see sub zero wind chills basically all day on Tuesday. Here's that whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast. We have another chance at a brief dip down to near zero by Thursday night. We'll be looking at a few highs in the 20s and 30s throughout this week, and the theme of dry weather is going to continue most of this week. Just the light snow chance tonight, otherwise dry all the way through next weekend.